Well, hello there, guys, and thank you for continuing to follow me here on Armored Brigade. We're going to actually be playing a battle called Nipkin's Assault. It's a pre-made scenario uh, in which we're playing as the Soviet Union, uh, and we're actually fighting against the United Kingdom. So I think this is going to be quite interesting. Obviously, Vesterseid, or Vesterseid, I hope I'm pronouncing that correctly, um, is the area we have to take. And of course, we also have to hold this area and this one up here at Droga. Uh, pretty much know what to do. I've already set target reference points for artillery. I'm going to be taking this big old chunk uh, right here of armor um, and other units, and we're going to be advancing to essentially the northern part of this town. I'm then going to take this a group right here, and I'm going to advance them to the southern end right here. Again, I'm doing an advance, not a fast move or anything like that. Um, I want these guys to move carefully. And for our central group, I'm just going to push them right up the center. I'm pretty sure this is a meeting engagement. We're both going after uh, each other's positions. So let's hope that we're the first ones to make contact. Actually see the red star there on the side of the Soviet T-62. I'm absolutely adoring that. And this is what happens if the Cold War went hot. As always, guys, in these battles, we'll be back when we make some contact. Alright guys, it looks like we may have made first contact here. Our scouts have already spotted uh, enemy ferret scout cars moving into Ostervest. So hopefully we can stop these guys from getting in there. I think it's going to take a while for our units to actually reach them. But at least we've got eyes on what's going into that town. Now if I wanted to, I could already fire artillery in this general direction. I just don't think it's a good idea. I think we should still wait uh, until we're spotting more of the enemy units. Look at that movement. Really smooth in the way they just get in there. Uh, looks like one of them has stopped, and actually our scout team is engaging. I wonder if they're capable of even taking this thing out. That would require them to have some anti-tank weaponry. And I'm not sure a scout team would be equipped with that, a recon team. So the 14.5 millimeter might be able to bust through. Okay, wow. We just destroyed a scorpion right there, guys. Uh, it looks like one of our units here got him. Probably the, not the scout team, but this IFV. Which is definitely capable of taking out uh, armored units. And we've also opened up. The enemy is actually popping smoke here. So, <clears throat> you know what? I might actually go ahead and fire that artillery. I said I wouldn't, but seeing as they're popping smoke, they're obviously trying to hide something, right? So let's go ahead and select a new fire mission. Uh, we want to go ahead and have several guns firing, of course. Uh, several volleys. I'll set the target, and I'm going to put it right here on the road. Uh, of course, it's going from this target reference point. It looks like it's going to be two minutes. <clears throat> to actually get the target. Excuse me, boys. Nice. We've got some IFVs firing. Absolutely beautiful. Heat missile just destroying that unit. Let's see if we can pop this one. And once again, they are popping smoke there to try and save him. Uh, we haven't spotted him yet, but when he's in flames, we'll spot him. I don't care what he is as long as we destroy him quickly. Come on, boys. Right, we've got a BMP taking fire over here, but responding appropriately. And it looks like we lost our first vehicle there, guys, getting the BMP uh, destroyed. But we did manage to hit that enemy vehicle. Um, and there's no way there are any survivors. That was just an instant explosion. Our scorpions are hitting quite a few of them. Let's see how that line is advancing. It's actually looking really nice, guys. Uh, we've got just a massive group advancing. Three groups, uh, actually. They're all using the roads. And I'm using, of course, the uh, advance button. But I'm guessing there's another button to avoid using the roads. I want to find out what that is because this is a little risky. I mean, yeah, we get to the location a lot faster, but it doesn't seem um, as safe, let's put it that way. Oh, yeah, baby. Still using T-44s. Anything we can get our hands on, guys. Practically World War II era weaponry, but a little more advanced. Okay, we actually have an immobilized APC. I wonder how he got immobilized. Uh, I believe there's a way. Somebody mentioned this. It's not ISO, although this is really cool, guys. The ISO shows us the terrain, like uh, the geography of the area. Um, but there's something else I was looking for here, which allows us to actually see what immobilized the vehicle. Okay, whoa, enemy air power, guys. Uh, it's actually just a Scout H1, so this is just a Scout chopper. But it's got plenty, and I mean plenty, of uh, anti-tank weaponry, anti-infantry weaponry, you name it. This thing can, can pretty much go to work on us. 
And there's another one over here. I don't like what they're doing. And we are firing high explosive. Uh, fire mission one. Let's go ahead and make sure that it's taking off without a hitch. Keep firing all. Firing for effect at this point, guys. And again, we might not hit absolutely anything with this artillery strike. We could certainly set more than one strike. We're being pretty conservative with our uh, shots. There we go. Now, in this battle, we really can't let any enemy units through uh, because they could potentially take um, any either of these locations and, and just make it more difficult for us. So hopefully we will find this guy pretty soon. I'm, I'm guessing these IFVs will stumble across him. Got a, quite a bunch of IFVs here moving in tandem. And I think this is the smart one right here. The guy moving through the uh, the cornfield. Probably a good idea. And of course, I'm just anticipating next quarter. It actually looks more like a potato. Okay. Yeah, we can keep moving. Looks like some of our mech infantry has stopped right here. I don't think there's any reason for them to stop. We're going to keep pushing, guys. Oh, there we go. There is reason for them to stop. We've made contact. Beautiful. Beautiful. Okay, guys. Yep, we got a British vehicle right there. Um, I am going to grab a few of these guys. Not all of them. Just a few. And I'm going to advance. Try and get over here into the town. I'll do the same with this group. But once again, I'm, I really want to do it carefully. Um... Grab these babies right here. Advance into the town as well. Let's fire off another volley, boys. Again, I just get a feeling they're going to be sending some uh, some boys up this road to try and uh, take Ostervest or, you know, basically put some pressure on us. But I could be wrong, you know, and that's that could be wasted uh, artillery. It happens, though. These guys still moving. They certainly are. And I actually want to change their trajectory even more. I want to go ahead and boost them this way towards Vestarvest. And look at that. Uh, those helicopters are back, guys. The AH-1s. They're nasty little, uh, little helicopters. I love the indirect fire warning as well. Ooh, that thing definitely got hit by a missile. The question is, can we knock down the Scout AH-1 here? The Soviets have some excellent anti-air vehicles, I will say that. And it looks like we have dropped as many rounds as we can on that target reference point. Um, I don't think I'm going to waste any more artillery on that position. I think we're, for now, going to wait to see if we spot any other uh, groups of enemies that we want to take on. Yeah, he got away. So, the, yeah, those, those AH-1s pretty much know when it's time to, to boogie out and not get shot at, essentially. And yeah, we definitely took some artillery shots here, guys. So the enemy's going first. Oh, look at that. Look at that. Yeah, I want to push our guys forward. We'll advance. Just get out of this area. Because the enemy clearly wants to kill us um, specifically there. I guess they're not, not enjoying our artillery or anti-air uh, capabilities here. All right, we can go ahead and push through Ostervest. We really do need to be uh, somewhat aggressive in this mission, guys, to hold these positions. We're still taking that indirect fire. It's the T-66s that are taking it. And that's the last thing we need are our tanks getting shot down. We don't want our tanks getting shot down. Oh, boy. She's back, isn't she? Okay, guys, we took Olga. Beautiful. So that's one uh, point. Of course, a very important point. Uh, the second one is going to be Doroga and Vasily. So these are three locations we have to take for this mission to be a success. And we are going to try to make that happen. And again, this has been a very aggressive move. But this isn't offensive, after all. Uh, the only group I'm not going to be moving too far with are these guys here in the center. Uh, I might actually stop them once they reach sort of the outskirts of the town here. Oh, boy, look at that. Wow. Okay, that's an unlucky enemy vehicle. Come on, boys, fire her. There she goes. She's dead. I, I don't even think we needed um, the actual turret of the weapon to destroy it. Just the machine gun itself raking across that thing. Absolutely pierced uh, uh, through it. Oh, there we go. That's going to hit the chopper. Oh, nice hit on the chopper. 
And as soon as she starts smoking or takes a nasty hit, she boogies out immediately. That's exactly what's happening here. Should also have been moving the scout team this entire time. I'm going to make sure the scout team uh, fast moves here. And let's grab this scout team and do a similar advance here. Just to get a better view on the enemy. Again, the scout teams really give you um, better visuals on, on enemy locations and where you should be sort of focusing your uh, your shots and focusing your, your forces in general. We want to trust those guys. I'm not letting the HQ be the first one in here, so I'm going to delete that waypoint and let the other units go ahead and pass by him. Uh, and, of course, get into town. And again, I think that indirect fire is artillery fire. Um, the enemy is definitely firing artillery here, as you can see, at the town itself. I don't think the people are going to like that. I told you, if you must support glorious communism, the capitalists will burn down your city. We'll burn it down first, turn it into cooperative, and then uh, they'll, you know, do the same thing. But we want to stop the capitalists right now from destroying the eastern side of Ostervest, and they're definitely bombing the hell out of this area. You can see several fires have uh, actually started. Uh, just due to the massive nature, or the consistent nature of the bombing. Come on, show yourselves. Most of the enemy forces are going to have to be here. This is the larger, uh, the largest settlement, uh, Vestervesen. Okay, we're almost at Doroga, guys. Um, I'm going to stop this HQ as well. You can see the, um, the actual controls uh, sector here of the HQ. I think that's really well done. And there is a tracked vehicle here. Oh, boy. Oh, boy. Oh, boy. All right. Let's go ahead. Uh, artillery support. We're going to switch over our artillery support right now. We're going to set the target. Uh, two minutes to, to capture this location. But I definitely want to start firing here. I don't like the fact they've got Chieftain MK3s here, guys. They've got some really decent tanks. I want to stop. Yeah, let's stop the scout car. We can spot the enemy for us, and we've got to get some armor up. Look at this. Looks like enemy air an aircraft. Yep. The British have actually brought in an aircraft to strike us here, destroying one of our vehicles. And it looks like we've got some AA guns to open fire on it. Uh, but I think that thing's moving too fast. That's a fast mover. Oh, man. We definitely dropped some bombs there. Those could be 500 pounders. Okay, nice, nice, nice. Tank can already spot him. I'm going to have him stop right there. Open fire on the enemy immediately. No, stop, stop. Good shooting. No damage, though. And now we're the ones taking fire, although we're starting to spot a lot more enemy vehicles here. And when I spot them, I'm going to be stopping um, these vehicles to return fire. Remember, we do have some IFVs, and they can still take out enemy tanks. They do have the weaponry capable... Uh, doing so, it's just they're going to be taking a lot of damage in return. There we go. Good hit. Get those chieftains, boys. That's one chieftain down, and I think we'll get another one pretty soon. Come on, boy. You can do this. Yes! Oh, man. That was definitely a missile, without a doubt. <clears throat> oh, he's damaged. He is definitely damaged. Uh, let's see if that reference point is ready. It is not quite ready. And once again, I'm going to stop this unit. Oh my goodness. Yeah, we've got to stop these tanks immediately. We're, we're, we've moved too far ahead. We've got a really great contact right here, but it's not going to be great if we keep moving. So I'm going to delete all these waypoints. Yes, beautiful. Again, some of these tanks are still moving forward, and I actually like that. Some of them are going to remain stationary uh, as some of them advance, um, which I think is just great. Kind of keep the enemy uh, second guessing consistently. Let's delete that guy's waypoint. We'll stop him. We'll delete this guy's last waypoint. Stop immediate, immediately. And the rest of these guys are going to advance. Oh boy. All right, let's be careful. Let's be careful. The enemy is also taking a lot of hits here. But yeah, I think it's important for us to stop. We are out in the middle of a field, which is never good. Um, but we're getting some pretty effective fire on the enemy. We will show them the fury of. Mother Russia. Beautiful, guys. Look at that swing fire destroyed by the T-64. T-64s are getting a tremendous amount of kills on the enemy. And after we feel it's fairly safe, and after we feel we've taken out enough of them, 
uh, that's when we're going to make our move uh, to advance. Nice. Oh, ho, ho. he couldn't even make it to the road yet. That's what happens when you mess with the glorious Mother Russia, I tell you. Oh, yeah, these are definitely infantry uh, groups. Fire mission ready. And it looks like we're already firing in this general direction. We've got no spotter, um, but we're absolutely going to be able to uh, sp pick the unit, find the unit, etc. Um, we do want to be careful here. We've been hit here several times, and it's a location we need to take control of. So I'm going to take these rear units and send them in here. And once again, another chieftain going down. They're also pushing their units across the field when they shouldn't be, so... I think we're both making similar mistakes. Good job, boys. Keep it up. Come on, now. Look at all those tanks, man. Glorious. Red Star. I also love the sound there of the bullets uh, breaking the sound barrier. It's a really nice touch. Oh, man. Oh, man. Come on. Get him. Get him. Get him. Yeah, we got another chieftain moving through the town here. It's amazing how he spotted him right as he's moving up. All right. Now, we're going to have to move these guys uh, slightly more for them to spot anything. So, I'm going to push them up here. 44 seconds to get to that area. Yeah, it's not easy. And let's go ahead and keep advancing with the tanks as well. As you can see, guys, it's going to take 30 seconds for them to even uh, receive the order and execute it. Um, so it gives us a few seconds, I think, just to kind of stay in a defensive position. That's a fast one, man. Right, incoming enemy artillery over here again. They just seem to have... They just seem to hate the people of Ostarest. Oh, or they think we're there. Got another tank there, guys. Unbelievable. And I'm guessing... I mean, this is completely just a guess, but I'm guessing that parts-wise... Uh, a chieftain is more expensive to build than T-64, but could be wrong. Please feel free to comment on that down below. Don't forget, guys, if you enjoy these kind of videos, especially videos on Armored Brigade, please do let me know by hitting that like button and commenting down below. And also subscribe. Problem here with a strategy channel is that it's just a very niche topic. So we need as many subscribers as we can get, guys, and it really does help. So I hear a missile outgoing. Oh, we actually just lost. Oh, we're taking a lot of fire here. Yeah, as we push into this location, uh, we're spotting a lot of the enemy, and I'm going to go ahead and switch that artillery uh, location. So let's go ahead, guys. I mean, this is perfect. So artillery. Let's set the target right there. Oh, it's going to take 10 minutes without a spotter. Yeah, that's that's not gonna happen. Nice, beautiful, beautiful. Just destroyed uh, some enemy infantry over here. Didn't even route them; just completely destroyed them. You can see them destroyed here too, guys. Uh, but the enemy's desperate, um, and they're fighting bravely. I must say, the British are fighting very bravely to hold uh, Vesta Vesta here. But I think we're gonna get it very soon. Just have to get a few more guys in this area. Uh, let's stop this guy. He's already got a shot. No damage. Great. Keep firing, boys. Although, as you can see, he is suppressed. Uh, and I love how they take that into account in this game. In other words, he's afraid. Um, he's he's basically pinned down right now by enemy fire. And, you know, all, all things that are going to happen when you take a, a nasty shot like that. I don't know what this guy's doing. <laughs> this is a crazy enemy. He must be trying to surrender. Oh, nasty shot there. Now, we did destroy the enemy, but I am shocked that we got hit right here. All right, let's stop these guys. We've already got some nice spot, uh, some nice views on the enemy targets here. Delete all waypoints. Got a turn, but they're already firing. Pretty effective fire already. I'm really surprised. Don't stop, man. We're already starting to knock out some of the enemy vehicles. And we've got our own tanks up here in the north as well. Um, trying to spot the enemies here. And the 
again, if you look in the upper left corner of the screen, guys, you know, we cannot detect all the action all the time. And that's what I love about it. There's, like, consistent small battles going on all the time, really cool battles. Um, we can't watch all of them, but if you want to just see what's happening uh, by a second-by-second -second basis, you can, of course, take a look at the upper left corner. You can also slow the game down if you're playing it, if you like slow motion, or you can speed it up. Um, you know, if you think that, for instance, you've already done quite a, quite a lot to win a battle, um, you know, and uh, you don't want to you don't want to push any farther, you know, go ahead and speed up the game or this sort of thing. There we go! Wow, that was like a kilometer right there. Nice hit, and actually went through the frontal armor, uh, and that was a heat missile fired by the T-64. Or maybe a heat round? Is that possible? Are there heat rounds? That's amazing. Still got eyes on uh, more enemy targets here. And it's really up to these lone tank units to waste the chieftains, but I do believe we've won the tank battle here. And honestly, I've had my own problems uh, playing as the Western forces uh, with the Chieftains. Uh, it just seems that the Russian tanks have a sort of a longer uh, range, if that makes sense. Um, and I could be wrong. I, again, if anybody wants to give me some tips on how to use uh, the Chieftains uh, to outrange the Russians or, you know, outmaneuver them, let me know, guys. There we go. Another one down and way more on the way. But still five minutes until we get our uh, visual mark. And there's no way there's anything here anymore. So... Uh, had that been a two-minute mark with all those units there, we could have certainly gotten some kills uh, just through artillery alone, but I don't think that's going to be happening. I'm going to move some of these guys up. And some of these guys are, of course, immobilized. But I think these guys are going to be okay to move. You can see just all the artillery that's been fired in this location. The people have not been spared. Uh, this is World War III, no doubt about it. There's no way uh, that public relations can paint this the right way. Um, you know, the fact is we have attacked as the Soviet Union into um, neutral, or I should say, uh, you know, it's no longer neutral territory. But we've certainly made that push, and the war has absolutely commenced. Is it Brezhnev? I hope Brezhnev is happy. Nineteen eighty-three. Let's see if I'm right. I think I am. All right. So right now, I think uh, most of the main part of the battle is over, and um, I love this smoke coming off the artillery strikes, guys. Uh, as far as I know, and I could be wrong. As far as I know, this is not a cloud. This is actual artillery. Um, you know, this, there's been so many hits from the enemy over here as well uh, that it's kind of streaming across the field, all the gunpowder. I just think that's so realistic. If you've ever even been to a shooting range, for instance, um, and stuck around the shooting range for a while, you'll see this sort of mist in the air um, just from all the guns being fired. And I think in any sort of modern battle or hell, uh, even, you know, World War II battles, World War I battles, this is probably a reality. I'm almost tempted just to send these guys into... Um, Best or best, just to take it, um, you know, eventually. If, if we move into the location, uh, we've essentially taken that objective. But I know we've got to keep our guys here because there's still enemy vehicles moving. Uh, and we, this is the way we're going to get the most effective shot, is by staying put. Nice, beautiful. Beautiful shot there. What is the APF STS? We'll have to look that up. I love all the weapon systems here, guys. Uh, multiple weapon systems on um, on these vehicles. Another chieftain. Here we go, guys. Chieftain down. I'm loving it. Uh, I want to stop that HQ. I don't like HQs going that far out. Oh, here we go. This is why Western Vest is not under our control anymore. We still have enemies there, and it looks like our conscripts spotted them here. Uh, it's actually not conscripts. It's a mech squad. How are they going to deal being right up close and personal to an APC like that? And they do have RPGs, but they don't have any rounds left in those RPGs. If you see that, guys? Uh, so they're going to be probably throwing hand grenades, uh, firing machine guns. It's not looking good for our boys in that particular situation. Nice, nice, nice. Wow. This is really almost just a... Uh, 
machine gun fire, we really want that tank there because if this ends up being a tank, which I believe it is, we can't tell what it is yet. It's just a track vehicle. Uh, we've got to hit it with some, some actual um, appropriate rounds. And as you can see, we just lost that unit. I was worried about that. Ooh! Enemy fast mover. Forgot about that. Uh, a lot of enemy air support as well. Great shooting there. The mech infantry is taking over. You can actually hear the grenades being thrown. I love that. I really love that. Oh, man. All right, so they were waiting. They were lying in ambush without a doubt. Uh, I'm going to delete that waypoint. Just stay put with this unit. No way they're going to break through that uh, that armor with just hand grenades. But, you know, really got to give them some love for trying. Truly heroes of the Soviet Union. This northern area near Doroga has been wiped out. And I don't think that Doroga is a realistic goal to achieve anymore. Um, however, um, this area is. So we're going to keep pushing until we take it. And that, unfortunately, means moving away uh, from this area where we have some pretty good spot lines or sight lines. Um, I'll actually leave this tank here. But, you know, since we don't have any units left here, or not many anyway, um, we're, we're not getting a good visual on the enemy. And that artillery is still not ready. Uh, it's adjusting. It's about a minute away. And I'm thinking, yeah, we could still use that already uh, because it's certainly going to be effective. It's going to hit something. Okay, the T-64 is really our last hope in this area. I'm actually, actually going to delete that waypoint because I don't want him coming in from the south. Uh, I'm going to push him in this way. Oh, man. We lost another uh, T-64 there. And this is why I'm really trying to overwhelm this area with units. Uh, I want control of this area. At that point, we've got uh, Vestervest, we've got Ostervest, and uh, the enemy just has uh, essentially this last location uh, at Doroga. I can let them have that. We can negotiate terms and maybe come to an Some more chieftains moving across, too. Come on, boys. Come on, boys. Yeah, we can spot them now. Let's go ahead. We're going to stop that tank. And I'm going to take these, this tank, I should say, and advance over here to get a view on the enemy. All right, there we go, firing. Nice, firing high explosives, beautiful. Guys, our, our uh, fire support is going out. Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. We just destroyed a chieftain as well. And let's keep firing that our art artillery support. Fire all. Fire all. We really want to knock this baby down. Beautiful. Wow, I'm glad we stuck around, guys. Uh, the enemy's making the same mistake we did um, in the previous battle we played in this game, and that's moving across an open field. Um, even though we don't really have many scouts here, we don't have any spotters, the fact is we can see them. I mean, that's open ground, and uh, even if it's, you know, a kilometer or 1.5 kilometers away, uh, you know, in this time period, pretty easy to spot that. Not exactly much of a challenge, you know, with the, uh, the technology we've got. So I'm surprised we're in this area. We still haven't officially taken it. Uh, there's got to be, I guess, you know, more enemies in in one of these buildings. So we've got to we've got to mop this area up, and this would be perfect for infantry units. Firing for effect once again, folks. You can actually hear those rockets going off, uh, going out from our side. Sounds like a Katyusha.
Look at that, guys. Look at that artillery. Oh, that is beautiful. The glory of Mother Russia. That is nice. So we actually did take Doroga. Interesting. I didn't see that. Um, technically, Doroga is under our control. Um, it's the only place that is, la is, is left is Vestervest. So I'm going to keep pushing our boys there. Again, guys, you know, different battles are about different objectives. This battle is specifically about taking these objective points. It's not about having less casualties. It's not about, you know, um, defending or anything, uh, or even a meeting engagement. It's really just taking these points. So I'm hoping once we take that point, if we can do it, uh, that's that's going to be a victory. And this guy's a hero, by the way. This, this guy has killed three or four of the guys just in the last few seconds. Can he hit this guy at distance, though? I, I'm not sure. Some very interesting terrain there as well. Looks almost like a marshy ground. Love to fight some infantry battles on marshy ground like that. Come on, boys. Oh, we got more sights. We got more sights on him. Another hit. He did manage to get a hit, but again, I think at this distance, this has got to be like two kilometers. No, it can't be. Maybe like one, 1. 1.5, something like that at this distance. It could be two kilometers. I mean, this is... Let's take a look here, guys, on a map view. I wish we had somewhere there should be a scale, like over here on the left side. That would be great. Again, I'm a little surprised... Um, I'll keep moving around the area, but unless the enemy is, like, really well hidden here, uh, I'm surprised that, uh, we haven't spotted them yet. Let me unload some infantry. I don't know if this is going to make a difference, but we're going to try. And we'll also move forward with this tank. Advance. And you can see these guys, um, are immobilized currently. They're panicked. So, yeah, I think we should actually unload these guys. Let's see if we could just drop them right here. Maybe because they're panicked, they will not unload. Yeah, I don't think so. Uh, and some light damage to the vehicle itself. Alright, looks like the motorized rifle squad is taking fire there. That's definitely artillery fire. Um, it's not coming from anywhere else. I love the damage the Artie's doing in the map here. It reminds me so much of close combat just on a much larger scale, uh, which I welcome uh, with open arms. I mean, that's that's the best case scenario to me. And we're still taking hits from the enemy as well, and you can just see the amount, the accumulated um, artillery uh, sort of smoke coming off this location. I'm guessing it makes it harder for us to see. Come on, come on, get him, get him. The British are really uh, quite a brave enemy. There's no doubt about it. Of all the enemies I've faced in the game, uh, they, to me, are the most aggressive in terms of their push. Of course, they, you know, they do have a very important job of holding this location, but it still surprises me. And there we go, another enemy vehicle. We don't know what kind of enemy vehicle. And it's a draw. I'll take it. I'll take it, guys. So we took that last um, location, and you can actually see the... Um, the, uh, I guess, uh, casualties on the enemy side, as well as the casualties on our side. Uh, but there is something weird there, where we don't get to see the amount of deployed enemy units. Maybe we only get to see the amount of deployed enemy units if we get a victory. Uh, I'd love to know that. Anyway, guys, what did you think of the battle? Would you consider this more on the winning side or more on the losing side, and why? And of course, like I said before, don't forget to hit that like button, comment down below, and subscribe to the channel. Thanks so much, guys. I hope to see you in the future. Also, put down below what factions you'd like to see in our next battle video.